Hey, welcome back to the channel, Mama Bear's Homestead and More. Today is pretty cool because we are going after another piece of farming equipment. Surprise, surprise. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I called a friend of mine, tractor dealer. Uh, I was like, hey, I'm looking for this. And he goes, I got one, come get it. Um, and I can't thank him enough. I mean, he gave me a super good deal on it. And... I can go pick it up on a Sunday. And so ride along and we're gonna go get us another piece of equipment. Alright guys, we made it over here. Um, time to show you what it is. It is a three point one row field cultivator. Uh, we're going to be putting this on the back of Goose and cultivating our green beans, gourds, um, anything we can honestly and i think it's going to be very very useful helpful um i i know we got that two row snap coupler cultivator also but um with the d17 being down because of the fire um i got to looking around and found that mark had this over here so uh we're gonna load it up take it home and put it to work so i'm gonna set you guys up and you guys can watch me throw throw this in the back of the truck hopefully i think you guys will be safe right there And them tines there, uh, they just need the bolts loosened up, straighten back out and tighten back up. Uh, that's not that going to be that big a deal. So we're loaded up and we're going to head back to the homestead. Hey guys, we made it back from picking up the cultivator. Now we're going to uh, unload it, get it put on the tractor itself, and then adjust them tine arms that are bent. That's a little bumpy ride for you guys. <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and shut that noisy tractor off, but 
clipped on there uh i have to go get the, a clip for that side and the pin for the top length yeah it looks like we're gonna have to do that little backwards But yeah, I'll go get me a pin for the top length and get another clip for the arm over there. So, all right, guys, I got it hooked onto the tractor. Uh, now I got to straighten these arms back up. Uh, see how, if we can get them relatively black flat, but I think we can and straight. Uh, so I'm going to set you guys up and go to into working on that. I hope all these nuts don't fight me like this. All right, guys, what do you think of that? That looks better, but it ain't. I didn't realize them rakes were bent as bad as what they are, but um, we, we're, um, I don't know if a guy could heat them up and try bending them, but you'll probably break them if you put heat to them. So, uh, we're gonna run it like that and then get a hold of Mark and see if we can't order some 
uh, new, new, uh, I don't know what you call them, springs. So, um, but we're going to try to use it like this. Uh, it'll at least get us started. But yeah, it's going to match up with old goose perfect, real, honestly. Uh, I haven't really tried yet to uh, work on them sway chains. See if they move. That one looks like it's all the way in, though. That one over there's got some. So we're going to see if we can't move that. Uh, that'll take the sway out of it. But I think it's going to line up great with Little Goose. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to set you guys back up and tighten them bolts up. And go from there. just like that guys we got it um straightened out it, they're pretty bent and twisted but uh i think it'll work for what we're wanting to do with it um uh, i might try to straighten them up a little bit but yeah i think our next task at hand is seeing seeing if this thing this um sway thing will move because if we can get the sway to where it don't um, get crazy on us, that'll help a lot. So, yep. So, with that, I'm going to leave it here. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. And until next time, keep on keeping on, my friends. Love you guys.